Hey guys, in today's video is a February favourites and this month I have been liking quite a few things, not lots, so don't expect too much from this video. So this video shouldn't be as long as the ones that have been in the past. Not the favourites videos, just videos in general. Okay. So I'm going to start off with beauty and makeup. Now normally I would do two separate categories for this, so one just for beauty and one just for makeup, but I thought since there's not that much of either, I thought I'd just put it together and it doesn't really matter. It's just the way this video is going to go. So I've never tried anything from the vintage cosmetic company before until quite recently when I went through a couple of my glossy boxes that I'd previously gotten in the past and I realised I hadn't used as many of the products as I intended to so I thought you know what let's go have a look through some of these boxes and try some of the things out and one of the things I did try out and have been using throughout throughout the whole of January and February was this the Vintage Cosmetic Company tweezers and they are adorable they have this like floral print on one side and then their name and logo on the other side and I just think the tweezers, normally tweezers, tweezers to me are just tweezers, like they're nothing special but I do have a pair of tweezers that have been going a little like dodgy, blunt let's, let's say um, so it's not really picking up as much as I would like however these tweezers have been a lifesaver when my old tweezers don't work I use this and they literally just get anything out and yeah I never, think, I never thought I'd be that happy over tweezers but I absolutely love these so Good job. The next item is a cleanser and I haven't really used that many cleansers and this one was a tester I believe with which came with one of my past orders from uh, Beauty Bay I think and this one is the Botanical Milk Cleanser slash Makeup Remover by Anne, Anne Simonin. Seminin? I don't know. I give up on trying to pronounce that. I'm useless at names. Um, but this cleanser is literally light milk, as it says, and it feels so nice. You don't even have to put a moisturiser on. It's just, you literally put it on to get all your makeup off, and then your face it just feels so soft. And this was only just a tester, and I do think that if and when I run out of this, I will definitely purchase a bigger bottle of it. Or looking into other cleansers and seeing what they have to offer. But I do really like this, so I think I will have a look at this a little bit more and consider it. Another thing I received in a past glossy box was this The Essence Light Up Your Face Luminizer Palette. And it's just basically three highlighters. You get kind of like this natural nudie shade and then you get this pink glittery shimmer shade and then this gorgeous orangey kind of bronzy shade and I absolutely love this shade. This nude one is also really nice especially if you want a more natural look and yeah I, I really like that one. This middle shade might not be everybody's favourite because it has a bit more heavy glitter in it and it sparkles a little bit more but considering the price and everything it is one hell of a palette. It's pretty good and if you want to start off cheap it is an all-round good palette I have no complaints over it really just just apart from the fact that if you don't like heavy glitter it's probably not your cup of tea the next thing I have here is a lipstick and this is the MDM flow lipstick in the shade bossy and I have this I'm wearing this today it's more of like a neutral brown nude shade and this is pretty much the colour of my lips, just a little bit lighter, I would say. A little bit more uh, creamy, because my well, I have like a more of a pink tone to my um, lips naturally, so this is more of like a brown, a brown pale shade. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to describe that, but it is gorgeous. I've been using this non-stop throughout February, and mainly for those days where I don't really want to wear that much of a lipstick or a bold kind of statement lipstick just a little bit of a neutral effect the next thing i have been dearly loving throughout the whole of february and i purchased this i think it was like in the january it was in the january sales and um it's from the brand lip coat and if you don't know what lip coat is 
it's basically, well they released a product that was basically a kind of like, oh, I don't know how to describe it, but you put it over your lipstick and it makes it stay longer if your lipstick's no good at staying to your lips, staying on your lips. Now, I heard that they re were releasing and have released um, this thing which is called Brow Coat. Now mine is a little bit dirty because I have been using it non-stop and like even some of my foundation has somehow got into this. So whatever you do to colour in your eyebrows, you apply that first and then just after that you apply this brow coat which, just like the lip coat, makes your eyebrows stay longer, look more fuller and look more natural. Now I have always wanted to use a kind of wax on my eyebrows but never knew what. But until Lip Coat released this, I was like, you know what, I might, I'm, I'm, I might actually try that product. And I have absolutely been loving it. If you don't want to use a wax and feel that this bad boy is perfect for you, I totally recommend it. I just feel it makes your eyebrows look more smoother, more airbrushed, and just a really good looking eyebrow. That's all I can really say about it. My absolute favorite product of February is a new launch or a new release shall we say. It was only released about a week and a half ago and I've heard nothing but great things about this product. If you haven't already heard about this product where have you been? Because literally everyone's been talking about it. So so Barry M released Matte Me Up lip paints. When I heard that they were releasing these I was a little bit wary because I don't really get that much makeup from Barry M. But then I heard they were releasing limited edition Matte Me Up lip paint kits. That was that was a mouthful to say. These are the Matte Me Up lip kits, and I cannot get enough of them. As you can see, I bought all three. There's only three limited edition in the range. The one I gravitated towards the most was the one called Pose, and I thought, you know what? It's, it's not entirely red and it's not entirely nude, it's in between and I thought, you know what, I'll try this. If it's any good, then I'll try the others. So as you can tell, I thought it was absolutely amazing because I went and bought the other two. When I say amazing, they are literally amazing. These are very, very similar to Kylie Cosmetics and I it, that, that kind of really... It's kind of hard to say that because Kylie Cosmetics are really expensive for what they are. And these lip kits were only $6.99. So just consider that for a minute because it's a lot to take in. <laughs> that means I've spent so much on all these lip kits when Barry M have released these ones which are just as good. Now when I say they're just as good, they may not taste as good but they don't really have any taste at all so that kind of makes it a little bit better. I suppose, especially if you don't like that perfumey or fragrance kind of product on your lips. But they dry absolutely instantly and I would recommend filling the whole of your lips with the lip pencil because not only does it help with the colour but it helps it to look more even and more matte. It just helps it to stay there longer. It turns out that when you look at the boxes you think go to is going to be the lightest shade. However, it's probably that way around. So you have dark to light. So go to is probably the middle shade of all three. I could go as far as say that go to is probably the darkest shade, but it just depends how you look at it. So go to is more of a brown, more of a brown nude. It's kind of like a caramel nude, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. If you are a person who has always been afraid or haven't really dared to try any kind of brown lipstick or lip gloss, whatever, I totally recommend to try this one. I literally cannot get enough of them. I think Go To and Pose are my favourite. Runway, if you have already got a load of burgundy red shades, you probably don't need it. Um, because I certainly probably don't need it, but, but I do love the formula, I love how they feel. They're not drying at all, they're very moisturisingly dry, so they go on but they don't feel like cakey or anything, it feels like you're wearing nothing. They feel as good as Kylie Cosmetic lip kits and yeah, that kind of hurts to say that but it's true. I absolutely love them, for $6.99 each it is a friggin bargain. At the beginning of February, me and my best friend went to um, a shop 
called B&M. They sell a lot of American candy there and English candy as well. And they also sell quite a lot of the range of Reese's. And we picked up the Reese's peanut butter trees. You get two in a pack, they're king size and they're basically full of peanut butter. So if you don't like peanut butter, you won't like these. These retail for a pound and I was debating to get one because I knew I already loved them but I was just kind of like, should I get one, you know? I don't really need it, I don't really need to eat it. <laughs> but I got one and we got to the till and including everything else I was buying, I priced it all up in my head and it came to around about six pounds, seven pounds. It went through the till for about four pounds and I was just kind of like, sorry, what? That doesn't add up. And then I checked the price of this bad boy on the receipt and it was 10p. Can we just take a moment? <laughs> this Reese's chocolate two trees two christmas trees i mean i know it's a christmas range but i didn't expect it to be 10p i thought it'd be at least half price if they were going to mark it down but it was 10p they were that desperate to get rid of it and i we ended up buying five packets each and i still have this one left i think i have two left actually so i've eaten three packs already but oh my goodness they are so so nice if you love peanut butter and if you love Reese's then around Easter and around Christmas time they release these. These are exclusive for Christmas and obviously they still had stock from Christmas and then around Easter they release these eggs which I think I do have one but they are, they are only available at Asda so yeah but they are so nice so yummy and and I really hope they release these next year or this year because it's Christmas this year because they're just so yummy. So the next few things are what I have been loving on TV and cinema and music wise and I think you're all going to know what I'm going to say especially if you know that me and my sister are huge Katy Perry fans and Katy Perry decided to drop a huge bombshell on the fan base and released Chained to the Rhythm. I cannot get enough of that song. I've had it on repeat. When it first came out, I listened to it about twice and already knew the words. Now I've had it on repeat since and I just can't get enough of the track. I love the music video, I love the lyric video. I loved her performance at the Grammys and I also loved her performance at the Brits. And can we just take a moment at how she is using her popularity as a singer to gain awareness for what her country is going through at the moment and I fully support what she's doing and I'm very very proud of her I cannot wait for my sister to hear the song and just enjoy Katy Perry all over again the next thing I wanted to talk about and have been so excited and have been waiting for so long for the second half of The Walking Dead season 7 I cannot get enough of The Walking Dead it is literally my favourite show ever I love horror, I love comedy, I love romance and it's kind of like you get a bit of everything in The Walking Dead. Not just that, but I've kind of grown up with it now. Like, I was about 17 when the, fir when the first season came out. So yeah, I just feel like my teenage and adult years have kind of, I've grown up with it for the past seven years and I just, I really love it. And I love the fact that my mum and dad love it as well because I have someone to watch it with and talk about it with. In case you're wondering, my favourite character is Daryl. I love Daryl. If he dies, then I riot because I can't, I can't deal with Daryl dying. It's just too heartbreaking. I mean, it hurts to even think about it. Two films. Me and my family went to see Hacksaw Ridge at the cinema. If you haven't seen Hacksaw Ridge, please go and see it because it is such a good film. I would have to give it five out of five stars or even 10 out of 10 stars. It was just so good. The fact that it's based on a true story and it feels so real. I just love the tribute towards the man who did such an heroic act in the war. You just kind of feel really inspired when you come out of the film, especially with what he does. I don't really want to spoil it for you guys because it is such a good film. If you don't like war films, I promise you, you will like this film. Even if you don't like war as a whole, the underline and the understatement and the courage of this guy will, I think that will drive your interest through the film because that's kind of what drove me. I mean, I love war films. I love any type of films really, but 
I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. I love it when I go into films and don't think it's going to be that good and then come out feeling like, wow, that film was actually really good. Like my opinion gets changed. I love it when that happens. So if you haven't seen Hacksaw Ridge and you've been debating it for a while, I totally recommend it. Let me know what you think because I haven't really met anyone yet who has thought it was rubbish. So yes. And finally, the last thing I wanted to praise about was the film La La Land. And no, as I keep telling everyone, it's not about Teletubbies. <laughs> so if you haven't seen the poster or trailer, go have a look, go have a look at it, check it out, see what you think. I mean, to be fair, when I, when I did go to see it, I was a little bit like, whoa, okay, this is actually like a musical taken from a theatre format and then just put and then just made into an actual film. I personally really love it. In fact, I loved it so much that I have gone and downloaded the soundtrack for the film. And that's when you know I love a film that much because I download the soundtrack. Emma Stone has literally become one of my favorite actresses. I think she might even be up there now, like at number one, the one spot. And I don't know, I just, I love everything she does. I love her personality, I love the roles that she plays and her acting is just so good. I cannot praise those two films enough. If you haven't watched them, go check them out, see what you think. That is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I love you guys and I will see you again soon. Bye. What the hair's doing? So, ah! Uh, before I just wreck the joint. Trust me, my hair has a mind of its own today. Another thing that I received in a past glossy book. Get what? Okay.